Hello, uh, welcome to my first, um, uh, like, video. I'm going to be teaching you about EV3. Uh, this is the programming aspect of it. Um, first, uh, I'll teach you what this kind of, like, some options in this uh, menu. So, uh, here we have getting started, which is, like, what you need to get started. <laughs> exactly how it sounds. Uh, it's pretty obvious. Uh, software overview, kind of like what some blocks do. Not a total in depth, but it, it'll get you started with some cool um, movements and stuff of your robot. Content editor, uh, you won't probably need to uh, watch that unless you're trying to come up with YouTube videos or you're using pre made robots like these. And then there's the user guide, which is an in-depth guide on to EV3. And then there's the EV3 help. So there's more robots down here. There's a community. Um, there's, yeah, there's all sorts of stuff. These are really, really cool robots. But, uh, okay, so I have a project already started. Let's go with that. So, projects are a series of what's called programs. Programs are your, are your individual code. They're called I I call them um uh, like snippets. They're like bits of code that are gathered, and then the project kind of like puts them into one file. So here, um, along the top, uh, if you've opened like let's say I created like a bunch, but then you close them all. When you close them, they don't delete. They stay down here. But if you want to see all yours uh, in a different way, you can go down here or if you're already on a program and you don't feel like going back there or something, you can do them here. So there's that. There's your select option. So if you're editing a code block, these are called blue code blocks by the way. Um, let's say I want to change the port, which we'll get to what that means later, to D, or to C, or whatever. You have to have select, um, click. Uh, if you want to adjust the speed again, you have to, anything, that, uh, let's just sum it up. Anything, if you're changing any code block or anything like that, you have to have the selected. Pan is um, like you can kind of like if you have lots of code and you want to view it, um, you just kind of like click around. Comments is what I had just just before. It's um, like let's say I was a programmer and I had like 64 code blocks or something, and I don't want to make it look like a one big like a big maze to someone that like downloads it for me from me or something. I would put comments in so that it explains each and every code block. So like this turns a motor uh, at speed seventy five or one uh, rotation. Like that. It, it it just gets ignored. The code doesn't do anything for it. It's just a reference for you. So there's the save, undo, redo, zoom out, uh, zoom in, reset, and then there's the content editor, which is if what you're if you're doing what I'm doing, sorry, then you would use this. But since you're probably a beginner, don't use that. <laughs> Uh, project title, so like you want to name your project, uh, hello world, there, and like a project description. This is a project. You can put anything in these. There might be a certain limit on how long the title can be, I'm not sure, but there's definitely no limit on your project description. If you want to share your project, the Lego community, just click that and follow steps there. These are all the programs that are in it. We won't be using all of them. 
and this is your project picture. Uh, this is kind of like a secondary image or picture. And yeah, and if you want to create more programs, you just go there. Put that. So, yeah. Okay. So, um, see you next time.